Hi, I'm Dante, and welcome to Great Lakes Science Center. One of the many exhibits here at Great Lakes Science Center is kind of hard to miss. It's called the Bernoulli Blower, uh, but you might just know it as the thing with the beach ball floating up and down. Uh, it has to do with air, how air moves, the force air has. The main thing really is about forces. If I just take this beach ball and hold it up in the air, and if I let go, what do you think is going to happen? It's going to drop. The force of gravity pulls the beach ball down. It's not dropping right now, not because the force of gravity went away, but because my hand is giving another force to balance the force of gravity, and that's what keeps the beach ball up in the air. The same thing's going on here, only instead of my hand providing the force to balance the beach ball, it's something else, and that something else comes from the air. Right now, when the beach ball's vertical, most of the force that's balancing gravity just comes from that direct pressure of the air blowing out of the blower and the molecules hitting the bottom of the beach ball. That's where most of that balancing force comes from. The beach ball is still being held up in the air. Gravity is still pulling the beach ball straight down, only now somehow that force is coming from some other kind of effect. So with something simple like a piece of paper or a piece of yarn, you could uh, see where the air is flowing around the beach ball. So the air flowing out of this blower changes the air pressure around the ball. It's no longer balanced. The greater force must be on the bottom because that is the force that's keeping it up against gravity. The lesser force is on the top. And you could put those together and see that when you have faster air, you get a lower air pressure. What the Bernoulli effect is, is that when a fluid like air or water starts flowing, when it starts moving, it exerts a weaker side-to-side -side pressure than it would if it was staying still. Now, if I slowly bring the beach ball into the airstream, the fast air is over here. Your lower pressure is here, your, your weaker force. The greater force is on the, the outside. Now watch carefully when I bring it to the airstream. It just gets pushed into the airstream and then it kind of stabilizes and that side to side moving air pressure difference is what keeps it in the airstream, uh, but that initial push uh, is what pushes it in the airstream. So that's a couple of the things you could do with this. Whenever you got moving air, uh, you could do some interesting physics and, uh, and some fun stuff.